artist Miss Casino here. Wanted to bring to you the project for our day today. So we are gonna collaborate together. That means work together. We are gonna make art feathers today and we're gonna color them. Next week we're gonna paint them and cut them out and we're gonna combine all of our feathers together to create a mural on the wall of some giant wings. So let's do it. Everyone's gonna get a white piece of paper. Don't forget to put your name in the corner, okay? It doesn't matter if it's on the back or the front. Just put it small in the corner so we know it's yours. You're gonna be able to take some shapes to trace, okay? They're all different size feather shapes. So I'm gonna take a few. You can see I already started tracing my shapes, okay? And you're gonna fit as many as you can on your paper but you don't want them to overlap. You don't want them to go on top of each other. So you can see what I'm tracing. I'm holding down my pattern, my stencil, and I am tracing the edges. It's okay if it's not perfect because we're gonna paint these and cut them out later, next time I see you. So I'm gonna trade with a friend of mine at the table and grab another shape of a feather, a smaller one, a little thicker. And I'm gonna fill up my whole paper with traced feather shapes, okay? Let's see, can I fit another one in? Yes. So I got a lot on my paper. Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six shapes. Okay, great. Another thing I'm gonna do before I start coloring is I'm gonna draw a line down the middle, just nice and light, to show me where the center of my feather is. And if you like, you can draw a little, a little piece at the end where it used to be part of the bird. Birds use feathers to keep warm. They use them to help them blow while they're swimming. All right, and the birds shed their feathers a few times a season. So don't worry if you find a feather on the ground, it's usually just because a bird shed the feather. So you don't have to make these little end pieces, but I like making them. Draw a little center line, nice and light. Now the next step, once I have all my feathers that I like traced on here, I'm gonna use the crayons, the construction paper crayons, regular crayons. I bought some art sticks up here. Art sticks are basically like crayons, but they're a little smoother. Okay, and the colors are nice and bright. So you can use these to make a pattern and decorate each feather. Next week, we'll use watercolor paint to paint right over your design and the wax and the crayon will push away the paint. So. I'm gonna make some dots at the bottom of my feather. Okay, and a lot of times the patterns in a feather are symmetrical. Symmetrical, if you remember from our butterflies, means the same on both sides. So think about what you're doing and maybe repeat it on each side. You want a feather to be very colorful. Even if you're using browns and peaches, Still try to make a little pattern for your feather and each one should be different. Okay, each feather should be different. So I'm gonna flip my paper over because I already started and did a little bit more. I don't wanna waste your time on the video just drawing. So you're gonna do all of your feathers with different colors and different patterns. If you wanna outline them, you can. For me, I like doing that just so I could kind of see my edge. And next week we'll paint and we'll cut and let's put it together somewhere so we have a little mural with wings that we can stand in front of and take photos. All right, artist, do your best. It's okay if it's not perfect. If you mess up, um, don't forget the poster on the wall. You can either make it into something else um, or you can erase it if it's pencil, but try not to get frustrated and just move on to the next feather if you're not liking the one that you're doing. Um, in the end, when we cut them out, you can just pick your favorite ones. Okay, I'll see you soon. I miss you guys. Bye.